something's going on with my computer here, so it's behaving a little strange right now. There we go. Trapezoids and kites. Um, so a lot, when we talked about, uh, when we first filled out our graphic organizer, we gave one piece of information about, um, about a trapezoid. We said a trapezoid was a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Um, I want to label some parts of the trapezoid. So there's your picture. Your picture on your graphic organizer looks kind of like that. And we know we have one pair of parallel sides. We call the parallel sides bases. So this is a base. This is a base. We call the non-parallel sides legs. So that's a leg. And that's a leg. And we call the angles in the trapezoid base angles. So all of these angles in here, in just a second, still having some computer problems, would be base angles. So all these would be base angles. Um, and because these two segments are parallel, all these two angles, these two base angles would be same side interior angles. So base angles along a leg are supplementary. So that's our information about a regular trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid, so your picture in your graphic organizer looks like this, I think. Isosceles trapezoid has congruent 
legs. What also happens with, with an isosceles trapezoid is pairs of base angles are congruent. So these two angles would be congruent, and these two angles would be congruent. The diagonals are congruent. And because this is in a, uh, these are parallel lines, these are same side interior angles, still angles along the leg, pairs of angles along the leg are supplementary. All right, so there's our special information about isosceles trapezoids. So let's talk about kites. A kite. So your picture for a kite looks like this. A kite is a quadrilateral with pairs of consecutive sides congruent so that means these two sides would be congruent and those two sides would be congruent no opposite sides congruent. And no opposite sides parallel. I'm going to say no sides at all parallel. So no parallel sides. Um, I'm going to draw in the diagonals of this kite. The diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. So this angle would be a 90 degree angle. The long diagonal bisects the short one. So those two segments are congruent. And the long diagonal bisects the angles. So each of these pairs of angles would be congruent also. So those are our properties of a kite. Consecutive sides congruent, no parallel sides, diagonals are perpendicular, long diagonal bisects the short diagonal and the angle. So what I want to do is look at a couple of examples with kites and uh, trapezoids. And then the last thing we need to do for today is talk about trapezoid mid-segments. So let's look at a couple of examples. Here is, this is going to be an isosceles trapezoid. And this angle is 75 degrees. I'll call it A, B, C, D. 
and we want to find the missing angles. All right, so we have an isosceles trapezoid. What do we know about pairs of base angles? They're congruent. So we know that a angle A is 75 degrees. And we know that whatever this angle turns out to be, the, these two have to be congruent. Also, what do we know about angles along a the leg? They're supplementary. So whatever this one is, is going to be the same. So I'm going to say the measure of angle C, comma, D is 180 minus 75. And that gives us uh, 105 degrees. So each of these is 105. And if we wanted to, we could check to make sure that all of our angles add up to 360. But these two add up to 180, those two add up to 180, so together they're 360. All right, we good there. Okay, the next one, we're going to start with an isosceles triangle. So I'm going to say triangle ABC is isosceles. And I'm going to mark a segment here that's parallel to the base. And I'm going to say this is 32 degrees, this is x degrees, and that's y degrees. And we want to find x and y. All right, so if this triangle, let me highlight this. If that triangle ABC is isosceles, what do we know about these two angles? They have to be the same. These two sides are the same, so these two angles are the same. So I could say this is Y degrees also. And all the angles inside that blue triangle add up to 180. So I can say 32 plus y plus y equals 180. y plus y is 2y. So I subtract um, 32. 2y equals 148 divided by 2, and y equals 74. So each of those is 74 degrees. And now if I look at this shape, I'm going to highlight in red, isn't that a trapezoid? I've got a pair of parallel sides. And what do we know about angles along the leg of a trapezoid? They're supplementary. So x is 180 minus 74, which is 106 degrees. All right, questions there. All right, let's look at a kite, example with a kite. I'm going to draw in the diagonals. And I'm going to say that this is 40 degrees. That's measure of angle 1, and that's angle 2. All right, so which one of these angles is going to be easy, easy to find? Angle one, what do we know about the diagonals? They bisect each other and perpendicular. So that has to be 90 degrees 
all of those have to be 90 degrees. So measure of angle one is 90 degrees. And we also know that these two are congruent. These are congruent, that's congruent to itself. So these two triangles are the same. So if we find this angle, it's the same as angle two. Well, don't we have two of the angles inside this triangle? Yeah. So add these two together, 90 and 40 is 130. So the measure of angle two is 180 minus 130 which is 50. All right, questions there. Okay, the last bit of information for today. This is not a place for it on the graphic organizer. Um, so you might want to write it down on a separate sheet. Um, trapezoid mid-segments. So last semester we talked about triangle mid-segments. Trapezoid mid-segments are similar. Trapezoid mid-segments join the midpoints. of the legs. So this is a midpoint. That means these two pieces are congruent. This is a midpoint. That means these pieces are congruent. The mid-segment is parallel to the bases. And if we remember back to triangle mid-segments, we said the mid-segment was half the length of the base in a triangle. Well, in a trapezoid, we have two bases that we have to keep track of. So we're going to say the length is half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So what that means is I'm going to label some points B, C, D, A, E, and F. What that means is that EF, the length of EF, is half the other two added together, B, C plus A, D. And the other way that we could write that is B, C, plus AD divided by 2. The length of the mid-segment is, to find it, you add the two bases together and divide by 2. All right. So let's look at an example about trapezoid mid-segments. And then I want to go over a couple of those um, problems from your, from your simplifying radical review sheet. I'm going to call this TU, and we'll say that TU, segment TU, is the mid-segment. We'll call this 6x minus 12, 2x plus 10, and 18. And we want to find x. So what we need to do here, since this is the, that segment is a mid-segment, 
we know that 2x plus 10, we add the other two lengths together, 6x minus 12 plus 18 divided by 2. It's half of that. Add the two bases together and divide by 2. That gives us the midsection. And now we solve for x. Well, how do we get rid of that 2 in the bottom? Multiply everything by 2. And I'm going to remember when I multiply this side by 2, I need to multiply everything. So I'm going to put some parentheses there. So I distribute properly. I get 4x plus 20 after I distribute equals 6x minus 12 plus 18 is 6. Subtract 4x. 20 equals 2x plus 6. Subtract 6, so 2x equals 14 and x equals 7. All right, questions there. Okay.